Take the example of this beautiful woman by the name of Fatima radiallahu anha, the daughter of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa One of those who also had perfected her iman or her faith as well, as Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa had said. The Prophet also said that Fatima would be the first to follow him from his family to the hereafter, meaning that she would be the first to pass away. In one amazing, amazing couple of verses, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allah revealed a couple of verses in the Quran which I came across when I was reading the tafsir of, of uh, Ibn al Jawzi. I, I came across his explanation of a couple of verses of the Quran. And the verses of the Quran go like this uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, this verse mentions that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala quotes people who give charity in the cause of Allah are those who say, verily, they feed the poor, the orphan, and the, the poor, the orphan, and the prisoner of war. The poor, the orphan, and the prisoner of war. By the way, prisoner, prisoner of war was actually a non-Muslim, isn't it? That's why they were prisoners of war. So, Allah is actually saying that it's actually good to be to give charity to non-Muslims. So next time you actually ask yourself, can I give charity to non-Muslims? Can I feed them? Can I do that? Of course you can. Goodness to all of humanity is what Islam talks about. So يُطْعِمُونَ الطَّعَامُ They feed out of the love of Allah. يُطْعِمُونَ الطَّعَامَ الْحُبِّهِ مِسْكِينًا A poor man. وَيَتِيمُ An orphan. وَأَسِيرُ And a POW, prisoner of war. And they say, إِنَّمَا نُطْعِمُكُمْ لِوَجْهِ اللَّهِ Verily we feed you for the face of Allah. لَا نُرِيدُ مِنْكُمْ جَزَاءً We do not ask you for any reward in return. وَلَا شُكُرًا Nor even a word of thanks. Verily we fear a day, we do this because we are afraid for ourselves on a day in which the hearts will turn inside out from fear on that day, which is the day of judgment. Right? And these verses, by the agreement of all the scholars of Islam, was revealed regarding Fatima radiallahu anha. They were revealed regarding who? Fatima radiallahu anha. Why? Because Ali who was the son-in-law of Rasulullah used to carry things on his head and ferry water and ferry things from people's house to other houses and then get some, some wheat and barley for as payment. He would take the wheat and barley at home, Fatima radiallahu would then use that wheat and barley to actually cook bread with it. So one day Ali did some of that ferrying, came home after a hard days of work and they had 55 degrees Celsius he took Medina, brought that, that, that barley back home. She made bread with it. She made three loaves of bread, one for her, one for him, and one for Hassan and Hussein. But before the food could be served to Ali and, and Hassan Hussein, a prisoner of war, war walked by. So she looked at him, saw that he'd just been freed and he's hungry. So she gave him a piece of bread. Two more to go. And an orphan passed by. She rubbed her hand over his head felt sorry, pity, and gave him a piece of bread. Not thinking of anything, not thinking where they're going to eat. And then thereafter, a poor person walked by, and she gave another piece of bread. So the blessed family went to bed hungry that night. The whole family. And so Allah revealed this verse. Do you know what's amazing about this verse? Do you know what's amazing about this verse? Is that thereafter, after these verses, God describes paradise in no less than 15 verses. An extensive description of Jannah, extensive description of paradise. Now, whenever you go to any extensive description of paradise in the Quran, you will find that God talks about the beautiful women of, of Jannah as well, which are the women or the husbands that are created, or the wives created for husbands. God talks about them, except for these places, this part in the Quran. In this extensive description of Jannah, God does not talk about the Hur al Ain or the women of Jannah, the beautiful women of Jannah. Why? Ibn al Jawzi said, Ibn al Jawzi said, amazing. When I read this, like, oh my God, unbelievable. Do you want to hear it? You sure? Keep you in suspense. 
<laughs> okay, Ibn al Jawzi, may Allah have mercy upon him, said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loved the action of Fatima so much and knew her jealousy of other women because she didn't want Ali to take another wife. Knew her jealousy so much so that he revealed verses about Jannah and did not mention the Hurul Ain at all because he did not want, want to offend Fatima radiallahu anha. Allahu Akbar. Amazing. These verses were obviously revealed for Fatima, right? Because of the good act that she did. He didn't want to offend his slave. He didn't want to offend his slave. He knows his slave doesn't like something. He won't even mention in the Quran because of the feeling of offending his slave because he was so happy and so amazed with her act. You see righteous women, when they do righteous deeds, then by Allah, not only are they equal to men, they can far exceed men as well. So much so that Allah above the seven heavens can reveal verses recited in the day of judgment in amazement of his slave, in amazement of the actions of a righteous woman by the name of Fatima radiallahu anha.